Hi, it's Pshamak here, and welcome to the next episode of Sneak Peek into Metagrid version 2. I'm very excited for this episode because today I'm going to talk about the fundamental change. Um, so far in Metagrid version 1, you're able to create buttons of fixed sizes relative to the selected grid size. Um, in our vision for Metagrid, for the future of Metagrid, we have always seen it as a tool that ena enables you, the user, to create objects of various sizes and of various types. And uh, at the same time, we didn't want you to give you just the blank canvas, and uh, we, we wanted to stick to the idea of griddiness, because Metagrid is all about grids, right? So we came up with the solution that we called, in our code, Unigrid, because it's one master grid to rule them all. Underneath each layout that you are going to create, uh, there is the master grid, 24 by 24. And on this master grid, you are going to put the containers into which you are going to put your objects. So here we are. Here is the grid that I've created for the purpose of this demonstration. It's a beautiful Sunday morning here. The sun is shining, so why not fancy colors, right? <laughs> and uh, all right, so let's go and dive in. I'm in the edit mode uh, for the first time and during our sneak peeks meetings. And by default, when I press the edit, I go into the edit uh, object mode. So when I press a button here, over here, um, you can see that um, we've got a nice uh, object editor uh, coming from the right. But I'm not going to dwell on it today. I'm going to talk about layouts. So I press layout. And I am now in the layout editor. Let's do some layout uh, modifications. So I have a huge orange button in the very center of the screen, and I want to make it smaller. So I select it. And uh, as you can see, the split button uh, is activated. Um, so when I press split, Metagrid uh, divides the original button into four components. Uh, first, it is the original button, uh, but now it's smaller. And then we've got three additional empty slots for my objects, right? And um, But uh, I want to go a bit further and I want to split this empty uh, container into additional objects and uh, this also uh, to demonstrate uh, the smallest resolution. So uh, these objects over here are the smallest objects that you can create in the Metagrid. Of course, it's uh, hard to imagine that you're going to have uh, objects that small, but still these are useful um, because you can create some irregular uh, button sizes, object sizes. So let's say that you want this uh, button to be that big. So I, when I press merge, uh, Metagrid has merged the original button, the orange one, with four empty uh, containers. And uh, of course, I can do it a bit bigger. So let's make it uh, like that. And uh, now I've got a nice rectangular horizontal button. Now, uh, what, uh, what's next? I want to add an object. Uh, so I've got an empty container over there, so I press Add, and here we are. Metagrid has added a uh, new object, uh, and uh, currently it's just a button, or just, or it, it's a button, and now you are able to edit it into the, in the object editor mode, right? So let's say that, uh, for example, I want to uh, have one big uh, object uh, in the uh, bottom section of the screen. So um, let, let me clear the buttons over there. And now uh, by swiping uh, right, I select uh, six slots and I merge them. So here I am with a huge rectangular button over there. So as you can see, the flexible grid concept gives you the uh, quite a powerful tool to shape your grid by your needs. And of course, you know, while creating a grid, you will be able to select some predefined, predefined uh, grid sizes, but then you will be able to manipulate uh, the components and to create the layouts uh, with uh, bigger buttons for your uh, most frequently used functions, uh, according to Fitz law in UX design. Uh, the speed of an interaction 
depends on the uh, size of the object that you are interacting with and uh, the distance between uh, you and the touch screen. So uh, the bigger the objects, the quicker the interaction is. Um, so um, with that in mind, uh, you will be able to create some 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 quite nice layouts for your uh, custom functions uh, and that will en enable you to be even more uh, efficient uh, while working with your favorite applications. And naturally you can undo any operation on the uh, layout. So when I press undo, as you can see, we are back to where we started. Okay. Um, right. So that's it. That's the flexible grid. I hope you like it. I love it. And I really see it as the powerful tool to shape my grids by my needs while working with my favorite applications. So keep your fingers crossed for us. We are a small indie team uh, creating a complex application, but we are determined to deliver. And uh, let's meet next week uh, in the next episode of Sneak Peek into MetaGrid version 2. Stay safe. Uh, keep your fingers crossed for us. And uh, see you later. Bye.